greetings loved ones and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm doing a what I haven't stopped buying in regards to sustainable products and whatnot. One of you suggested that I film this on Twitter when I asked for video ideas and I just thought it was a great idea. Even though sometimes I feel like with sustainability videos I have so many of the same products that I mention and I have a couple of them in this one as well so I'm just going to kind of disclaim that at the beginning but also I'm going to be talking about some other things that I have I don't think spoken about at least on here maybe on my Instagram story but anyways enough chitter chat. Um, I'm going to get into just what I haven't stopped buying when it comes to bathroom products because I feel like there's a lot of bathroom waste that we create, right? Especially when it comes to like skincare and stuff like that. So something that I have not stopped buying is my Lush Herbalism Cleanser, my baby. Oh, so good. Cleared my skin so much and I didn't want to stop buying this because I love the product so much But also it made me so happy that Lush has such a great empties program You can bring back six of these and then get a free I think like face mask or something like that also in one of these black containers So I love a good empties policy a good return system and you will see that more frequently in these products <laughs> reflected across them. So another place that has a great return policy that I've talked about very, very frequently, I have a link and a little coupon code in the description box if you want a discount from them, but this is plain products. It's basically just a shampoo, body wash, soap, lotion, all that kind of good stuff. Subscription company, or you can just buy for like one time from them, but I have a consistent subscription, so when I run out, they just charge my account and then they send me more and then I send them back my empties in the box that they sent it to me. So it's just a great way to refill all of the products. I mean, everything that they get sent back to them, they just refill and send out to other people so they're not giving you a bunch of excessive and you're not taking in a bunch of excessive plastic bottles. But it's definitely a little bit more expensive. I get that comment a lot being like, I love plain products, but it's too expensive for me. But I have a little bit of a coupon code down below, like I said, if you want a discount. But yeah, you can always just get like Lush shampoo bars. I hear those are great or make your own body products and stuff like that at home, your own conditioners and shampoos or use like a hair oil instead that you just buy in bulk from somewhere. So there's definitely options of how to switch it up when it comes to your bathroom products. And something that I recently switched up, oh, that was a tough throw, is I did not stop buying toothpaste. I still brush my teeth, okay? folks, no matter how sustainable I get, I'm going to be continuing to uh, brush my teeth. <laughs> and I'm doing that with these little tooth tabs. Um, I actually don't really like the company that I got these from so much. They did come in like compostable packaging and like minimal waste packaging, but I hear really great things from other zero waste people and friends online about this tooth tab company called Bite. And basically they come in little refillable glass jars that you can just send back to them and then they'll, you know, send you more, just like that subscription system with the hair and body products that I was talking about. So tooth tabs are great because then you don't have to keep buying a bunch of bottles of freaking toothpaste, you know, just getting a bunch of those in your landfill. And then something that I could not also stop buying is Q-tips. And the ones that I get are these compostable Q-tips. I can just snap them in half, throw them in my compost when I'm done with them. Um, I use Q-tips for some reason every single time I get out of the shower. It's just like a relief habit thing for me. Like I can't have the water inside of my ears and I need to get it out with a Q-tip after my shower. This is just such a silly, silly thing that I do. But these Q-tips are great. They're from Swispers and they're just like wood um, bases here and then cotton tips. So yeah. I can compost them. It's great. The only problem that I do have with Swispers is that they come with like a plastic wrapping around them. And I'm like, you could just do without it. Okay. I don't need it. Also, let me know if you've ever seen these anywhere at like drugstores around you in the US because I have to order mine off of Amazon. And that is also something that I try to significantly cut back on is like, you know, just ordering stuff online and doing as little of that as I can because obviously it takes so much of an effort to get to you. So yeah, let me know if you've ever seen them at your local Rite Aid or Walgreens or something because I have not around me. So I gotta outsource 
source them to the old Amazon. And then also something that I've talked about before on this channel is who gives a crap toilet paper? They come wrapped in paper and it's just recycled toilet paper. And I buy in bulk from them. I get like 48 rolls. It's a dollar a roll, so $48 free shipping. I also have a little $10 off coupon that I'll put in the description for this. If you would like to order some, they also have like a 24 pack, but that's as small as they'll go. But anyways, they have these, they have paper towels if you still use those, but I use rags instead of paper towels and dish towels and stuff like that. But I just think this is a great company to get from recycled toilet paper, baby. Gotta love it. And it's not like annoyingly um, one ply, you know? It's not too thin that you're like, what am I using, a leaf? You know, it's <laughs> it's pretty good stuff. And also they donate a portion of their profits to build toilets for people who do not have them. So that's always a great thing to contribute to. And now let's get into the kitchen because that's also a number one place where people create a lot of waste, right? And that's actually where I pretty much started my zero waste journey is in the kitchen and then like a little bit in the bathroom, but mostly kitchen waste was like our big thing. And so um, one of the biggest things I realized after a while is like most snacks that you buy in stores, like Cheez-Its, you know, you got the box on the outside, but you also have a plastic package on the inside. Or when you buy chips, they come in a plastic package. Just there's so much waste when it comes to snacks. And your girl loves snacks. I mean, who doesn't love a good snack? You know, you gotta have something around the house. So now I get everything of all that sort at Winco. So I get all my snacks there. I just got this little bag of of trail mix the other day. Aren't these bags so cute? One of my subscribers sent these to me. Um, she did them for like a school project and then sent me just like a handful of them. And I just love it. For future sake, use a freaking bag. And then it just says consciously consume on the front. And I just love them. So I've been filling up a bunch of my snacks into these bags here. And yeah, got a bunch of trail mix, a lot of M&Ms in there, very tasty treat, salty and sweet, just the right one for me. So I get a bunch of my snacks from Winco and then anything that I can't get at Winco, like tortilla chips, uh, for instance, when you're making a dip or a salsa or a guacamole or something and you need a bag of chips, where do you go? You go to your local Mexican restaurant and you say, hey, can you give me a bag of chips? I would love some. How much do you charge for something like that? And most of the time they're like, what the heck are you talking about? We don't, we've never done this before, at least where I live. Um, but I still got them, so that was great. What an oily bag they gave them to me in. But they filled up two of these paper bags for me, which I can just throw in my compost when I'm done with them, uh, with just a bunch of tortilla chips. And then I just took them home in my little tote bag. Obviously you can have them put them directly in a tote bag, but I think most places for like health code reasons will put them in their own paper bag and then give them to you, um, which is just something that you gotta work on when it comes to speaking your mind when people are doing stuff like that, because it's very hard like for instance if you go to a bakery for breads uh, I remember having this issue when my mom would send us to get bagels at our local bakery in Georgia um, they would put them into a bag and I was like no like I brought this muslin bag for you you just need to put them in here it's great and they're like what no we'll just put them in our paper bag like what's the difference you know and because we compost at our house in our backyard then I don't really mind with like the small amount of paper waste um, but yeah, you can always just speak up and do that. But that's another thing. I have not stopped buying bread because I just get a huge bag of bagels. I literally go to Safeway and I go to the bakery section and I just clear out all of the bagels because Finley loves a good cheesy bagel. I put like 20 of them in this giant tote bag, take them home, put them in my freezer. So that's great if you love bagels or you like rolls. They have rolls there. They have, you know, other little loaves of bread that you can get or just support another local bakery that isn't Safeway. But Safeway is the cheapest for bulk bagels for us. You can get like an assorted 12 count for like four bucks or something, maybe a little bit less. I'm having trouble remembering the number that I see on the screen when I check out. But yeah, it's less expensive to get from Safeway than it is another local bakery for us. So we just get from there. And then something that I also have not stopped buying is drinks when I'm out, either at like a music festival or like a little random event. You know, if I go to like a strawberry festival around here or something and they're selling drinks, if you have one of these little cute cups, you can just ask, hey, and you know, you don't need to put it in there if you could just put it in this little cup 
for me. These cups I actually got um, from India. On our trip to India, they gave us just like each our own. It has my name at the bottom engraved, which is really nice. So I can remember whose is whose because Finley has one too. But yeah, they gave us these as like our water cups. But these little stainless steel cups you can get probably off of Amazon or you can buy them most likely at your local like I don't know, Buy Mart or Walmart or something like that. You would be surprised also at what you can find at thrift stores, my dudes. I am sure that if you're looking for a sustainable like coffee mug or something, you could go and find that at a Goodwill or any family thrift store around you. Um, this is great. I have not stopped buying coffee because I go and I just take this to all of my local coffee shops. I know that this is such a common thing for people to show you along with Hydro Flask water bottles and stuff like that, but they're just the easiest little changes that you can make, my dudes. Just remembering to bring that one thing. The key is keeping them in your car, okay? And that's what we do with all of our grocery bags, just keep them in the car. All of our Tiffins, we have two of these little Tiffins. They're basically like three tier kind of lunch boxes. And they actually use these a lot in India. When we go out to eat, we just have these in our car. And if we have, you know, leftover food that they would normally give to us in a styrofoam takeout container or a plastic container, we're just like, oh no, I'm just gonna go and grab my Tiffin from the car. Then we load up all of our food into here. Um, it doesn't work for large things like maybe a pizza slice, but for the most part, you know, pastas, all the things, this can fit a lot. So I will try to find a Tiffin um, to link down below for you guys because this seriously changed my life. Tiffins are the way, my dudes. And also we have like a little um, cutlery, like a foldable stainless steel cutlery set that we keep in here as well. So if we're out and we wanna order food, uh, we can just grab those little things. Like if we're at a food truck or something that normally has a lot of waste, then we can just do that instead and use our own cutlery, am I right? And then these are things that I don't have handheld to show you, but I just wanted to mention. We haven't stopped buying potting soil or compost because we can get those things by the truckload around us. It's definitely a plus living in farm country because you can just like call up your local nursery and be like, hey, I need a truckload of compost or something. But I just wanted to mention that is totally a possibility to get ordered in a truckload to where you live if you're doing like a bigger garden. I realize that most of you live in apartment complexes or smaller places and don't have um, that much land. But if you do and you're looking to not buy just plastic bags of potting soil or manure or whatever it might be, just call your local nursery, they can hook you up. I'm sure your local nursery too can do smaller scale stuff if you just bring like a five gallon bucket and you can just fill it up there if you're doing small house plants or something at your apartment. People are very kind, at least out here when it comes to stuff like that. <laughs> um, and then also I wanted to talk about this website called azurestandard.com. I love that site, okay? As I was mentioning just previously about taking in five gallon buckets, Five gallon buckets are just next level. We love them so much. We can never have too many on our farm here because Finley uses them for like mushroom growing and stuff like that, which is just a whole separate thing, which I should talk about in another video of how to grow your own mushrooms at home, uh, like gourmet mushrooms and stuff to eat. But yes, buckets, we use them for the pigs. We use them for mycology projects and cleaning and just all these things. Um, so I don't mind ordering from Azure Standard because I can get bulk like five Five gallon buckets of both laundry detergent and my dishwashing liquid and then also I found out today I can get bulk apple cider vinegar which is wonderful because Winco normally has apple cider vinegar which we put into our pigs food but they have a very small amount of apple cider vinegar most of the time it's like very low or we can't get enough so I found today that I can buy off of Azure standard just a five gallon bucket of apple cider vinegar as well so I'm gonna start getting from there but basically Azure standard is very interesting it's basically like a trucking service and I think that a lot of like food trucks and local businesses use them for ordering in bulk bulk you know for like the whole business and basically you just get put on a list you choose a drop-off location and you meet there at that address at a specific time and you just load up your car with what you ordered in bulk so for me personally I just had these two nice buckets walked back to my car and now I have so much laundry detergent so much dish liquid as well it's gonna last me a freaking while so 
I suggest using that site. You can find a drop off location near you. I'm sure there's other websites you can use too, but I just personally like that one. I found out about it from my neighbor, which is a very cool thing. But alternatively, you can just use soap nuts. I've heard great things about soap nuts from other zero waste peeps I follow. Um, in regards to laundry detergent, you can use those instead. And then for our animals and ordering like bulk food for them, we get from Wilco, which is very similar name to Winco. I know it's very hard to keep up with, but that's our farm store is Wilco. And so we go there and we get very large, like 50 pound bags of pig food. But my favorite thing about Wilco is that they have a return service so that you can bring back your bags that you get like bulk food in and they recycle them back into their system to repackage a bunch of other bulk foods and whatnot. So I love that they have a return system I love that stuff so much. <laughs> so I'm very happy about that. And then as for dog food, Winco, where we get all of our foods and groceries and stuff like that, also has a bulk dog food that we can get. So you could always get your pet food from there if they are a dry kibble kind of eaten pit, baby. I know they have like, cat food and cat litter in bulk too, which is very wonderful. And then my very last thing on this list is I have not stopped buying clothes <laughs> because as you guys know, for the most part, I buy most of my clothes from Goodwill or other thrift stores around me. Uh, the Goodwill outlet, the Goodwill bins as they're called is so good. You pay by weight. And so just buying any of your clothes secondhand is the way to go friends. Fast fashion is not the way, okay? 2012 me was maybe doing Forever 21 hauls, but not anymore, my friends, not anymore. <laughs> so yeah, I just encourage you guys, if you are shopping a lot or just looking for anything, like not even just clothes, if you love to shop and love to get more decor and stuff like that for your house, go and thrift it, find it secondhand, go to local artists and stuff like that, local businesses around you to just minimize that huge level of consumerism that is promoted here in the US and globally for the most part. Um, but yeah, so these are just a couple of my things that I have not stopped buying because I have found sustainable alternatives for them. I hope I gave you a couple of random tips in this that maybe I haven't given you before, but if I sound like a broken record, I apologize. Any effort that you make is, oof, great to me, okay? So just comment down below what your favorite swap in this video is, or your favorite personal swap that maybe I left out and don't know about. Let me know, okay? If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up for me. Subscribe to my channel for more sustainability tips and other stuff that I film from time to time. It's really just a hoopla of things. Ring the notifications bell if you would like to be notified when I upload. And until the next upload, stay smiling. Bye guys. <laughs>